Hello everyone. In the next few minutes, I'll share with you the top of the top word shortcut keys that will help you save time and be more efficient. So what I'm going to do next is take some template from vertex42.com. That's a one-stop resource for a lot of Excel templates, calendars, and more importantly, word templates, some of which could also be in legal forms. So I decided to download one of the free word template which relates to vehicle bill of sale. Now this document is of one page and let me show you those tricks back to back. First, if I want to break this table quickly, I may place the cursor on this cell and press Ctrl Shift Enter. See how easily it broke down? Next, for some reason I wish to align these text on the right hand side. So I choose them, I press Ctrl R. For left align, Ctrl L. For center align, Control E. How easy. Let me return to left align. A lot of professionals would like to see this empty gap fulfilled. So they may choose the text and just press Control J. That's for justify. If you have this multiple subheadings and if you have ensured that the heading style being followed is heading 2 or heading 3 or heading 1, we can easily make an automated table of contents. How? I go to the beginning of the document. Then I click on references. On the extreme left, I have something called table of contents. I click on the first template and whoa, I see a sequence of headings and subheadings along with the page numbers. Mind you, if your document stretches beyond one page and you click on this TOC and click on this button update table, it will also update the page numbers automatically. Next, let's assume you're filling in this document and you wish to give today's date. Rather than writing the date by hand, I would prefer that we apply a shortcut key called Shift Alt D. Notice how easy and simple that is. Alternatively, I can also use Alt N D. And once I go to D, I can choose the exact format that of the date that will appear on my document. Next. If I wish to change the footer and make it give a page number, let me double click at the bottom end of the statement. Temporarily cut this statement. Let me go to page number, bottom of the page, and I'll scroll down, which allows me to give page number in X of Y format. Now I press enter and control V so that the old footer stays back. Once having optimized the positioning, I can also decide on reducing the font size. How? Simply by choosing the text, pressing the control with square bracket open. Notice how easy it is to modify the text. Similarly, control square bracket closed and you see the text changing. Let me click outside. Next, while you're sharing this document with your friends or family members to get this finalized, it would be a great idea if you can go to review and then choose a text and click on new comment. This ensures that any comments or feedback is adequately documented and once it is, it can also be responded against to. See, how easy. Similarly, if you are sending this out to your colleagues for any feedback or change, I would advise that you enable track changes. Now, once you do the track change option on, any change that you make is recorded, even deletion. So if I go to the drop down and I say all markup, you will notice all the changes that I did after turning on the track changes is being recorded. It's upon me who can accept and move to the next, accept and move to the next, thereby making sure all the changes that were there has been duly accepted. Let's suppose this is the second version of the document and you want to compare it with the previous version. So what do you do? Well, you go to review, go to compare and click on compare. Now there are two panels on the left. Let's click open the original one. Let's say car bill of sale. And in the next one, car bill of sale version two. I press OK. Suddenly in few seconds, your panel will change. You'll have the two documents, the original one and the modified one side by side appearing on the right hand side. And this is the compared document. You also have a panel which talks about the revisions or the chain that has been made. So as you scroll down, Notice both of them move simultaneously on the right hand side panel and thereby allowing you to see what changes may have been made. 
plus if you click on the left hand side panel it will drop your cursor at the point where the changes were made so ain't that cool now once i have done so i may click close on all and this is the compared results if i click on them i can accept the change and move to next this finalizes the content next if suppose i want to put the seller signature i can go to insert go to quick parts and choose this small image which i had saved in the gallery so if you have frequently used text or image which you want to keep it readily accessible well you choose that text or image go to quick parts and click on save selection to quick part gallery i am giving this name test 2 and making sure it is saved in the normal dotm file press okay next time any new document you work with and you want that particular signature you go to quick parts and you'll find it there now that's quite time saving next now let's suppose you're writing the name and suddenly you realize it had to be written in upper cases so you choose the text and press shift f3 how easily i can toggle between the cases of the text so all in all friends you have a great combination of couple of fast tricks along with a one stop resource for all the word templates that you can think of for your business and home requirements and that's vertex 42 and this quick video trick was brought to you by yoda learning solutions